Hey Artex, Mr. Major here. So now we are starting with our first uh, big project and we're picking up right where we left off with the graffiti project. Um, basically a lot of the stuff we learned before um, all this happened and we kind of had the shutdown is where we're at with it. So we're going to go over again some of the criteria and things that we need to have for this project. All right, so with this assignment's criteria, the assignment is to write your first and or last name. You, you can choose how you want to do that. Um, and we're going to do that in the graffiti or, or tag style letters. Um, some of those requirements within that is you need to fill your page. So whatever paper you use to create this, um, you need to fill it up and not have a bunch of blank space all over. So use the whole, the whole page. There needs to be overlapping shapes and or letters. So have things going under and over. Um, create that depth as well as high contrast outlines and fills. So what that means is if you have a very bright color to fill in your letters, then we need a very dark, like a black color, to do the outlines and things like that. As well as you need to use at least four separate colors. Black can count as a color. If you want to fade colors or anything like that, I just want you to use quite a few different colors um, in this project as we go. So those are the main requirements. Other than that, uh, you know, use different resources. Go online and find different styles. Use everything that I've posted to that Canvas site to really kind of find some different styles and work through what graffiti lettering you want your name to be. All right. Well, starting off here, we'll look at uh, at this example. Um, obviously, it's it's very large. It fills that page pretty good when you're looking at it. Um, the overlapping shapes. The the D, for instance, overlaps the W. Um, the Y overlaps the A things like that, the N and the Y kind of fade in. So it has that depth where it's creating layers and uh, your letters are, are both on top and below. And uh, there's some interest and depth there that it's creating as well as um, they kind of fit together well. Um, so it's not just, you know, in this case, six separate letters. They kind of all fade it to make it want, look one uh, unified piece as well as the high contrast outlines and fills you look. Um, it's got the lighter blues and those colors and then that really dark outline. And then you have a secondary outline with that bright pink um, just to create some of the depth and make everything kind of stand out. Um, I like the splatters that they did with the pink and, and the, the color fades they did inside. So there's a bunch of, you know, from white to, to blues, there's a bunch of different fades in there of how they were able to kind of achieve some of those looks and meet those requirements. All right, now in this example, um, you know, again, it's filling the page. It's even using kind of a brick background to uh, to fill that extra kind of negative space as well, make it look like that graffiti is on a wall. With that, the overlapping shapes again, um, not quite as much, but you do see that the letters are touching and overlapping slightly to kind of achieve that graffiti feel and give some of that depth again. You have the um, the high contrast outline again, a nice black outline around the letters, and then a light bright green around the edge of that. Um, so you're seeing the colors on the inside of the letters, and then you're seeing the dark outline, and then you're seeing another bright color. So it gives that high contrast to set depth and set those letters apart and make it easier to read. As well as you've got the you know blues and some of that dripping kind of paint feel that's going down into uh, you know the next color, the blues into the orange into the red. Then you have the black highlights and things inside those letters with the white. So with this project, let's take your time, look at those examples and those tutorials that I was giving you, um, you know, on the Canvas page here, and look through, go find references, look up different graffiti and things um, online, and see what you can find. Use those different styles. There's a YouTube video that I added to kind of help you, uh, a tutorial on how to help draw some of those letters, and if you have any questions at all, please feel free to uh, email me, get a hold of me, and um, get through this first project. Thanks, guys.